Kingpin Cartel uh, Ghetto. I got a record from a friend of mine, um, his name is uh, Sander Brabander, aka Caravane, and I played like all of the times because whenever I play it, uh, people are going mad and when you hear me uh, playing it, you know I'm having a good time. <music> Natasha King, AMFM. Slow, uh, down-tempo vibes, but it's really catchy and every time I play it, uh, people are starting to dance, so for me that's a really good uh, warm-up record. IF, Interference, uh, Space Invaders are smoking grass, and especially the 12-inch uh, version. When the vocals hit in, the crowd is always going crazy and, and they sing along and that's for me uh, like the best example of a, of a peak time record. Some of you heard me playing it the last months before everything shut down. Underworld, two months off. I always hope uh, the light engineer in the room uh, understand my message. It's really nice when they uh, sing, bring the lights in, bring the lights in, and the lights go on, and everybody's enjoying themselves. And yeah, that's for me a great record to end the set with, and also a night with. Boixop, Apple. I don't know if I pronounced it uh, right. really remind me of my period as boy. I used to play like some video games like FIFA and stuff and that was one of the tracks that I that I can remember from that time and brought back some really nice memories. Tons of Tones, um, Activa. Tons of Tones is uh, Steve Ragnat, a Dutch producer, yeah, most of you will know. But the bass line is just insane. Endgames, um, Ecstasy. It's a really nice song with a lot of layers and it's just really difficult to mix in. I really love the record, I really love to play it as well, but uh, every time I'm, I'm, when I'm trying to mix it, I'm like, yeah, damn, I didn't have to do that. It's uh, various artists um, on Music from Memory. It's called uh, Virtual Dreams, Ambient Explorations in the House and Techno Age. A lot of uh, big artists on it and it's compiled by uh, Jimmy Tiller, also uh, a DJ I really love. Thanks to the guys from uh, Exalt, my partners in crime in making radio and I'm doing parties. Projection, Heart and Soul. I played it from September till now every day like two or three times. We really have to appreciate at this moment that, that we can listen to music and just have some good feelings afterwards and, and just enjoying it to the fullest. I really love this uh, next tracker band, a little bit of jazz. disco track um, and it was played in big clubs like uh, Paradise Garage but it's still sounding so fresh and every time I play it I'm also getting goosebumps and, and yeah for me that's 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 a record I really would love to have composed. Yeah I would say the boys from uh, Drexia um, so uh, Gerald Donald and uh, James Stinson 
both their projects as Drexia and their solo projects are all like really big inspirations for me. Whenever you hear me play, you'll probably hear some of their tracks in my set. I brought two records, um, Donna Summer, Our Love, and then the Blake Baxter, uh, yeah, how do you call it, rework uh, Our Love as well. It's a record I really can remember from back in the days when I was uh, throwing my first parties and some of my friends were also playing uh, them both. So first you played like uh, the Blake Baxter thing and then afterwards you played like the original Donna Summer and yeah, that, that always created like a, a nice atmosphere on the dance floor. The artist I chose is uh, Pugilist. It's an Australian guy who has releases on AD93, formerly known as uh, Whitey's Whitties. And he also has records on uh, Naus Klaag. Yeah, I really love his stuff. The Oracle, a label from Frankfurt. Uh, whatever they're bringing out, um, it's always something different, but they have like the right vibe and the right things around it. They also do like Oracle Casts, where they invite people to compose a YouTube playlist with their favorite videos. So that's also something you can do in COVID times, in lockdown times. This moment I would say just a place with some friends where you can just drinking some beers, having a good chat uh, with, ever, with um, whoever you want and not with all the regulations uh, around it. Um, I think that's for me at this moment uh, the explanation of a, of a caban.